Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is going to be an entire video topic dedicated to fragrance oil percentage. I'm gonna be going over everything. So is there a best fragrance oil percentage to use? How to even go about finding the fragrance oil percentage? What temperature you should be adding it to the wax? And also my personal experience with it. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. And actually, I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section what wax you guys used and also the fragrance oil percentage that you have chosen, just so everybody can really see how much it does vary from candle maker to candle maker. Okay, so getting into how to choose your fragrance oil percentage. So the one thing that is the most important thing to take away from this video is that the fragrance oil percentage is chosen based on the wax that you are using. It's not chosen based on anything else. So the size of the jar does not matter. You can use 8% for a four ounce candle or 8% for a 16 ounce candle. It doesn't matter the size. It's only based on the wax you are using. So all waxes will be able to hold a different percentage of fragrance oil. And the way to figure out how much fragrance oil your specific wax can hold is you have to look at the supplier's website. So wherever you purchase your wax, they will most of the time give you the range or a max fragrance oil percentage that you can use for that wax. So either they will give you a range of let's say eight to 10% that they recommend for you to use for that wax, or they will give you a max fragrance oil load of 10% or 12% or whatever that specific wax can hold. So whether or not you guys are working with coconut wax, beeswax, uh, pillar wax, soy wax, whatever it is, all different waxes will be able to hold a different amount and nobody will be able to tell you what your specific wax can hold except for the supplier or the manufacturer. So make sure you reach out to them in order to figure out your fragrance oil percentage that you can use for your candles. However, I do know that there are some of you guys who are purchasing wax from places that don't indicate an actual specific fragrance oil percentage that you need to be working with when you are making a candle out of that wax. And what I would recommend to you guys is to try your best to reach out to the seller, the supplier, to figure out what the manufacturer's recommended fragrance oil percentage is for that kind of wax. And if that doesn't work out, then I would just start out with about 6% fragrance oil. That's a pretty safe number. It's still low enough to where most waxes will be able to hold that amount of fragrance oil. And you can kind of play around with it and see if adding a little bit more will cause a little bit of sweating. And then maybe you need to stick between that maybe six to 7% fragrance oil. And that's just what that specific wax can hold, but that will require a little bit more testing. So what is the best fragrance oil percentage to use and if you guys haven't realized up until this point there really is no best fragrance oil percentage to use I would say the average fragrance oil percentage range is between 8 to 12 percent from all of the candle makers that I've been seeing from the candle maker groups the comments that I see most of the time people are using anywhere from 8 to 12 percent so how do you choose on where to start do you start at the higher end or do you start at the lower end personally I would recommend starting at the lower end than starting at the higher end because one you are saving fragrance oil because the more the higher the percentage the more fragrance oil you're using to, te to test with so I would recommend to actually start at the lower end so start with 8% if your wax can hold that much and then gradually add a little bit more through your testing process and you might find that 8% gives you the same amount of hot throw as 10% and it's better for you to stick with 8% because again, you're saving money because you're not using as much fragrance oil. So moving right along into temperature and how that plays into binding the fragrance oil with the wax that you are using. So in order to actually blend together the fragrance oil and the wax, the wax needs to be heated up and liquefied before you can actually add the fragrance oil to it. Now, where this comes into play and where some of the confusion comes in is how high and how hot do you need to make that wax before you actually add in your fragrance oil. And in my personal experience, I have found that adding in the fragrance oil between 185 and 190 has worked best for me and my specific wax. And I use a blend of soy 10, TW30, and a little bit of beeswax. And that has worked best personally for me. And what I have learned through candle science and all of their testing is with no matter what kind of wax you're working with, they have found that adding in the fragrance oil at 185 degrees has worked best to completely bind that fragrance oil with the wax. 
However, I will specify with coconut waxes, those work a little bit differently than other traditional waxes. I've heard through a lot of people who are very familiar with coconut waxes that you do need to heat it up a lot higher than other waxes. So I've heard that most people heat it up above 200 degrees and add in the fragrance oil no lower than 200 degrees. I also see a lot of questions and kind of misconceptions regarding the flash point of fragrance oil. So if you guys don't know all about flash points of fragrance oils, I made a whole video on it, so I will link it above for you guys to check out. But essentially what it is, is flash points of fragrance oil is just to indicate on whether or not the fragrance oil can be shipped by air or for people specifically using gel waxes. So fragrance oils with a flash point lower than 141 degrees cannot be shipped by air, and flash points that are lower than 170 degrees are not recommended for gel waxes. So that those are the only cases where people actually need to pay attention to the flash point. The flash point temperature itself is really just indicating at that temperature when exposed to an open flame, the oil will combust. So that really doesn't have anything to do when we are adding it to liquid wax because that is not an open flame. So if a fragrance oil has a flash point of let's say 160 and you're wanting to add it to your wax at 185, nothing's gonna happen, nothing's gonna go wrong, it's not going to combust, um, and it's also not going to burn off any of the scent. That's also kind of a misconception thrown out there, so I just wanted to add that into this video. Now that I got all that out of the way, I wanted to let you guys know my personal experience with temperatures, what temperature I use, and also so um, the fragrance oil percentage that I have chosen. So in the very beginning of me starting with candle making, I started more on the higher end of fragrance oil percentages. So I started using around 10%, maybe a little bit more, and I've been getting a really good hot throw with it. But because I tested out with 10% initially, I didn't really try to go any lower because I was already getting a really good hot throw. I didn't wanna mess around with it, and it was working for me for the past year that I've been in business. But more recently, I decided to start taking down the fragrance oil percentage because again, like I said earlier in this video, it saves you money because we all know that fragrance oil is one of the most expensive parts of actually making the candle. So by taking down the fragrance oil percentage, you are saving some money per candle that you are making. So over the past couple of months, I've been trying to test 8% instead of 10%. I know that with certain oils, I probably will have to do more of nine or 10% depending on how strong the oil is. But I know that for my stronger oils, I can easily take it down to 8% and still get a really good hot throw. I also have talked with a couple other candle makers who also had a pretty similar experience that I've had so far with starting off on the higher end of the percentage and have gradually taken it down and realized that they didn't have to have the higher percentage that whole time and they could still produce a really good candle at around seven to nine percent. So that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video all about fragrance oil percentages and temperatures and all that kind of stuff. Um, make sure you guys leave it a comment in the comment section below letting me know what your specific wax is and what temperatures you have found to work the best in your personal experience. And I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And go follow me on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Yay. All done.